Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena Bond and I'm a dating and relationship coach for men at selenabond.com. If you would like to work with me, I will leave a link to my website below and all of my services as well as my social media because I'm active on Instagram daily and I love chatting with you guys. So this should also be a limited seasonal series called Selena just wears black hoodies all winter. I have a million of them. I love them. They're so comfortable. So just so you know, that's why there's pretty much in all of my winter videos this far. So today we are going to talk about the number one shift in your dating life that is going to change not only who you are, but of course who you meet and what you attract. And I feel like not a lot of people talk about this. And this idea came into my mind when I was out this weekend. And I spoke with men and women who were a little bit jaded about the dating I don't know, community, atmosphere. Um, you know, men were kind of saying to me that women only want to date basketball players and, you know, men with a lot of money and, you know, they don't see me or want to go out with me or give me a chance. I'm a really great guy. And then on the other hand, women were saying, you know, I feel like I'm getting older and guys don't want to date me anymore or, you know, they just want to date models or, you know, whatever the kind of stereotype that they were feeding me. So, both sides, both genders had these um, stereotypes and, and perceptions that, that are valid. You know, there is weight to it. And I kind of explained that women, and I've said this in many of my other videos, primarily, primarily are seeking men that can provide and satisfy them. That is a primal need where men can kind of protect women, make them feel secure and comfortable so that they can kind of procreate and provide for a family. So seeking men with a financial you know, ability and a little bit of status in a way gives security to a woman and that is very important for her primarily for a family. Um, and on the flip side of that, men are looking for a young woman, beautiful woman, because that shows that they're young and fertile and they're going to provide, you know, a, a beautiful family for him. And that to him provides a kind of sense of security. It's, it gives him a sense of status uh, when he's seen with a certain type of woman um, and a, a certain kind of family. So it's all essentially the same thing. And I was kind of explaining it to these people without, I mean, kind of coaching them or being patronizing or condescending. And they understood it, but they still didn't know how to shift and take that information and apply it to their dating life. So the number one shift that I can recommend and share with you is that you're not a victim in dating and you're not a victim in life. Life doesn't happen to you. Dating doesn't happen to you you live through yourself and life lives through you. And when you change your mindset from being a victim to being, just being and accepting self responsibility for your being and how life lives through you, your whole mind shift and your energy changes. So now instead of things happening to you and and you know, you are jaded by the dating community or you know, men are treating you this way, women are treating you this way. It's rather everything channels through who you are as a human being first and how you show up in the world. Therefore, you are now taking self-responsibility for every action that you make on your dates, for every person that you choose. You know, some of these people were picking and, and dating certain people that didn't align with their values either or their self-worth. So then they say, oh, and you know, this girl did this to me and this, well, that's because you don't have a set of standards. You don't know how to communicate those standards. And if you do, you also don't have a strong sense of worth. So if you don't have the base of understanding what your worth is and what you're looking for, how are you ever supposed to communicate those standards and then eventually attract and date the kind of person that you're looking for? It starts in layers. And a lot of the time when clients come to me, they were like, okay, I just want to know how to get a girl this way or, you know, how to increase intimacy this way. And I can tell you how to do that easily, but if you don't start at the root foundation, of knowing your worth and not being a victim in your life, all of that doesn't matter. It's like you don't have the foundation first to build up on your skill sets. So I'd say that would be the biggest tip that you could possibly ever learn and um, apply to your life 
in order to change your dating world. There's a lot of kind of communities out there um, that I don't really speak about, but because I don't want to give attention to those negative communities of, you know, kind of men going their own way and, and thinking that they can live without women and women that are very hardened by men and, um, you know, they're kind of going their own way as well and they think they're all independent and I'm all for independence and for, you know, creating your own life and being who you want to be. But at the same time, human beings are made to connect with other human beings. And when you understand how to connect with yourself first and how you live and show up through life, then you can attract other people into your life, whether that's intimately or even friendships, that are going to strengthen the connection that you have within yourself because everyone around us is a mirror and reflects back to us our true self. And once you accept responsibility for your life and your own choices, then you start attracting people that reflect that inner true being of who you actually are. And it's incredible to see the person that you are through other people. Because that's what life is. Life is a reflection of us. Nature, the environment, the way we eat, um, our health is a reflection of us, reflects our environment. The way that we treat animals, the way that we treat our planet, reflects back on us. We need to take self-responsibility for everything going on in this world. And um, once we do that, then things will shift and things will change. And that's why there's that cliche, change starts with us. It does. It starts within us. I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. Please send me any sort of video ideas that you have. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram. You can put them in the comments below. Please share this video, and I will see you in my next one.